I think that the conference is timely. Um, it's been recognized globally that for any country to develop requires cooperation and partnership of the three sectors, government, private sector, and civil society. And we know that globally, the civil space is shrinking as a result of uh, rising right-wing governments across the world, rising fundamentalism, and challenges of the democratic space. So uh, the operating environment has been challenging. And when you bring it to Nigeria, you find out that the public perception of civil society in terms of its work, the impact and accountability has been erroneous. So from time to time, you see pro-government agencies trying to bring laws meant not just to regulate, but to strangulate civil society. So I think this conference is timely in that it's looking at all the regulatory mechanisms that instead of the perception that civil society is under-regulated, what we are seeing from discussion at the conference is that they are actually over-regulated with at least eight key regulatory agencies and actions that is required by every civil society. And we also know that because of desire of some pro-government agents to strangle civil society, there is a need for civil society itself to self-regulate itself and have a platform to ensure that those that are doing credible work, their integrity is not impugned. And so I think that the discussion so far have brought out the need for the focus on civil society operating and development. And it's already bringing out what needs to be done to ensure that we have a conducive environment for civil society to contribute its own quota to the development of the country. And these issues or what needs to be done include things like civil society organization trying to improve their compliance to the laws as it exists. Civil society organization trying to interrogate those laws and look at what is the relevance of them. For instance, the Financial Reporting Council, for instance. What relevance is it to civil society operation with a view to having advocacy to change those laws that need to be changed? But more importantly, and for me, this is the most crucial, how can civil society self-regulate in a way that its accountability is higher than even the uh, compliance with the statutory regulation so that anyone who belongs to that self-regulatory mechanism will be seen by peers as a well-managed an accountable organization, but not just by peers, but, but by donors and the entire public.